Nobody asks to be born in poverty. Through a variety of circumstances, people find themselves in poverty. And these individuals are no different than you and I. You and I can find ourselves in poverty very quickly as a result of illness, losing job, maybe having some financial pressures. This isn't something that should be a right if you've got enough money. This is a right to uh, affordable housing, a decent job, food, um, the ability to take transit, the ability for your kids to be involved in the community the same as other people's kids. We know that we have moved from the idea of poverty that belongs to a certain group of society, it's those people and they need to get their act together, to an understanding that poverty affects us all, it's a societal ill, it's a societal injustice, and we have moved to a different way of talking about poverty and looking at poverty. We have over 40 organisations who've aligned with it. We have uh, great partners like the Edmonton Community Foundation and United Way getting underway with enormous projects on it. And so it's not just something of a small group of people who, however well-intentioned, had some ideas uh, on a small scale. This is now owned by a city. We did this report two years ago to be able to identify some of the evidence and also uh, set some benchmarks going forward. And now we've redone the poverty profile, added to it and uh, updated the numbers so that uh, we have a better picture of what poverty looks like in Edmonton. I think the beauty of it is that it's truly an interfaith guide where the stories range from across the, across the spectrum. We have a, a Jewish uh, organization, um, synagogue there that, that helped a, a homeless man um, during their, their festival of tabernacles. Um, we have a story of a Muslim woman um, giving her tzedakah, her charity, um, to, to a complete stranger. And, and, and of course, there are Chris, plenty of Christian stories in, that, that are included in there as well. So it's really a, a beautiful compilation of what uh, the city of Edmonton, with all the diversity that, that's in here, is doing their work to end homelessness and, and poverty in the city. I think it's critical to um, how people view uh, people who are in poverty and I think the roots, a lot of the roots are rooted in racism and if we change the story and the narrative, um, add more balance to the picture, I think uh, people will feel uh, more engaged with helping to address the issue of poverty in the city. It's a huge problem and to help families move out of poverty, to make sure that the children of families in poverty are not burdened with the sense of poverty their whole lives. We need to have early learning and care that will support families with young children. Within one generation, we'd like to eliminate poverty. Not reduce it, but totally eliminate poverty and hopefully serve as a beacon for other cities, other provinces, other states, and other countries that if a community comes together and focuses on an issue such as poverty, we can eliminate it. As Mayor Iveson has said, if any city in this country can address and achieve the goal of ending poverty in this generation, it is Edmonton. So we have a plan, we are moving to action, there are thousands of people in Edmonton involved in it, and we are going to do this. Thank you so much for being here today.